Carolyn from the Real Outdoor Experience. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm really excited. I got to tell you, today is part one of my four part series on hunting pheasants for beginners. If you are a beginner and you want to hunt pheasant, this is the show for you, let me tell you. If you are already a pheasant hunter like myself, I know you are going to enjoy the footage that I have in this Come show. On. Stay tuned for part one hunting pheasants for beginners. you into pheasant hunting? I know you got me into pheasant hunting. Well, what got you into pheasant hunting? Same thing. A very good friend of mine. Um, he had all kinds of bird dogs. He has a English pointers and English setters. And uh, he said, "Come on, let's go for a hunt." I said, "Okay, what are we hunting for?" He says, "Pheasants." I said, "I've never been." He said, "Don't worry, I've got everything you need." Perfect. So I said, "Okay." Up we went. And he told me what number shot to use, and uh, up we went. The very first day, I shot a bird over top of his dog and uh, I was hooked so I looked into more about what style of dog I prefer because there's all kinds of different uh, styles of dogs there's pointing dogs there's flushing dogs all kinds of things I like the thought of a pointing dog because they do all the work for you um, they find them they point them and they basically point right at it and say you know the easiest way to describe it the birds over here the, the birds <laughs> over here so you walk up and then you uh, then you manually go in and flush the bird and hopefully shoot it. <laughs> I know for years I hunted without a dog and uh, I guess for most people if you don't have a dog it's it's something that you you may want to look into but that doesn't necessarily mean you can't come out and pheasant hunt. Find a person with a dog, uh, find uh, some friends that, that know somebody that has a dog or just come out rustle through the bush yourself. Kick, a, kick the bush around a little bit. Come to an area obviously that has pheasants but uh, check it out. There are a few obvious check marks that you need to get prior to going hunting for pheasant. You must obtain the appropriate documentation or licensing for your jurisdiction. This may include a hunter safety course, a firearm safety course, and so on. In Ontario, you should consult the Ministry of Natural Resources and Forestry website for details. I've included the address at the bottom of the screen. Once you receive all your documentation, you will then require a firearm if you do not already have one. I will cover the firearm choices in part two, gearing up for pheasant. But for now, I'll simply say that a shotgun is your best choice. The type is up to you. I own several different types, and I find benefits to each one of them. I would recommend a size between 410 and 12 gauge. To ensure that you're also following local hunting rules and regulations, you most likely require blaze orange clothing. Again, check your jurisdictional rules for further information. I like the more the better rule myself, plus I look great in blaze. Now that you're ready, you need to find a place to hunt. It would be nice if pheasant roam the earth wherever they please, however, that is just not the reality. A simple search of your area on Google will tell you where the closest hunting areas are. Try different searches like pheasant game farm and others. There are several around. Check it out. To help you sort all this stuff out, I've included a short checklist on my website that will be located in the gear section under pheasant hunting. I hope this helps. For part one, I have shot all the video at Hullet Provincial Wildlife Area located in Clinton, Ontario. I've put their website below. Check them out. This is a great place to take part in so many different outdoor activities. I know you'll enjoy it. Just a couple more little tips. If you are new to hunting, you need to practice with your gun. Get out to a range, shoot some trap or skeet. Learn how to handle your gun and become proficient in its use. As hunters, we must always be aware of the ethical and moral laws that we are bound to. One last tip, if you're hunting in an area that is known for migratory birds, you have the option of obtaining the appropriate license before you go out. This will enable you to shoot the odd duck, dove, or goose if they pass by when you're in the area hunting for pheasants. So, what do you think today? Bacon-tastic. Bacon-tastic? Yes, I ah, bacon. Okay, well, I like bacon too. So what do you think of your first pheasant hunt? What do you think? Yeah, that was that was a little exciting, I must admit. Yeah, we missed the pheasant, but that's okay. It's okay to go out and, and miss a pheasant because we get all this stuff, right? 
the nice stuff. Better than a butterfly, yeah. I don't know what that means, but. So, do you think you'll come out again? Definitely. Definitely? Yeah? Okay. That sounds good. Well, I guess that's it for uh, part one. Part one, hunting for beginners. Uh, we went through uh, some of the stuff like where to go, what to do, and uh, what to look for. And I uh, hope you've enjoyed this episode. Stay tuned for part two. We'll, uh, we'll be right back with part two. And as always, keep it real. Keep it real. Bye for now, folks. Thank you.